Yo, hey everybody. So I had this situation the other day at the shop. It's uh, two broken off bolts there. One's pretty flush, one's a little deeper in. This aluminum frame, uh, it's just kind of a kid's bike. It was a, this is actually a kickstand mount. So uh, the way most, uh, probably 99.9% .9 of any mechanic is going to drill the holes through the center of those bolts and try to extract the bolt out with an easy out, which is this tool here. You'll use a drill bit slightly larger than the tip of the extractor bit there, and then you just turn it counterclockwise, and hopefully it extracts it out. So anyway, I got this little bolt threaded in the backside, and that is for my ground clamp, and we're going to attempt to TIG weld a nut on the backside here, get it out that way, which... Uh, got that electrode way pretty far out there and uh, try, oh whoa first whoa, whoo, first method first attempt getting that thing out didn't really work so second one I just laid a washer over it cleaned it all back up and the washer fused to the bolt and kind of just formed a little mushroom kind of thing there so I you know cleaned her up tried to redo it again with the nut over it which uh, let me back pedal just a bit. I've, I've done this numerous times and had pretty good luck with the welding the knot on, but normally it's good if you can maybe thread the knot on a thread or two just to hold it in place to really get a good, I don't know, get a good purchase, get good fusion with the nut to the bolt. Works. I've never had it not work, but you know, in this case, I just couldn't get a good fusion with the nut onto the bolt and so this attempt here basically it moved the bolt a little and then it broke off so there was enough you know metal sticking out i just was able to clamp my vice grips on and it you know at this point comes right out you know kind of the beauty of this once that thing gets hot you know the this bolt that broke the two of the bolts they were they have uh, loctite on them plus you're going into a painted surface it was you know they're usually pretty tight to thread them in so you know, it's really no match for once you heat it up with that, you know, the TIG, the TIG welder there. So, uh, this is the second one. I just basically built up a little nub there um, with the TIG rod material. Long story short, that's what the little nub I built up. And, you know, the beauty of this with the aluminum frame, you're welding with the DC frequency. So, it doesn't stick to the aluminum. It just sticks to the, uh, the ferrous, you know, the magnetic metal there so um, you know I'm just cleaning up the threads here with my tap but anyway you know I realize not most all bike mechanics aren't going to have access to a TIG machine but you know like if you know a buddy or a welding shop or whatever you break your easy out bit inside of there this is a you know good method to get those things out or good reason to invest in a TIG, TIG welder if you deal with this kind of thing now and again so anyway had a little discussion on a bike mechanic forum a while back and I told kind of mentioned this forum and lots of guys thought I was crazy to you know do this works well on crank arms broken off pedal shafts that kind of thing so anyway yeah thanks for watching see you guys next time